Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, <clears throat> we're back with another quick hitch, just one today. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll be here for two days, uh, one in the morning and one in the night. I hope you guys got a chance to watch the Super Bowl today. Um, that was a terrible game. <laughs> Absolutely horrible game. But hopefully I can bring you some enjoyment today. Um, well, congrats to Tom Brady and the Patriots. Uh, hopefully, I can bring you some enjoyment today. Uh, we're gonna talk about um Caleb Plant's comments uh in, in a boxing scene article, um, as well as his pound for pound status. And um, we'll get into a little bit of his resume, um, a few things like that. But Caleb Plant made some comments. Um, he said, "I believe the talent and the skill is there. You know, I've only I've." I only have 21 fights. This is my third title defense. You know, I think with more performances like I've been putting on, I feel like in due time, that'll 100%, no doubt in my mind, I'll be there on the pound for pound list. So it's just going to take some more performances. That's all. I, I think that's a fair enough comment. Um, but let's get into where Caleb Plant stands right now. Um Look, he's again. He beat Uskatiki in a career best. Um, and now Tank got him out late, right? Kimbo out late, but Tank struggled with, uh, Tank struggled with, 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 with Gamboa at no point, not for one moment, not for one second did Truex ever struggle. He outlanded him something like 240 to 50 or something like in the punch that numbers, the punch that, sorry about that guy, the punch that numbers were so one-sided, right? So again, it's not a pound for pound win. It doesn't beating Truax up is a good win. It doesn't put you on the pound for pounds. 
Uh, Caleb Plant's not on anyone's power panel list, nor should he be. I'm as high on Caleb Plant's skills as anyone. If I said, if there's, I'm not picking him to beat Canelo. If there's someone out there who can beat Canelo, I think he's this guy. Not that I'm picking him, but if you said somebody beats Canelo, who is it? Uh, I'll go with Caleb Truax. I mean, <laughs> Caleb Truax. I'll go with Caleb Plant. I think Caleb Plant beats him. Um, if I had to pick some, if I had to pick someone, um, but he doesn't have any good wins. He, I mean, he doesn't have any great wins. He doesn't have any power for power wins. I should say he's got a couple solid wins. He's got wins over, uh, uh, who's got the game, which great win. He's got a good win over Truex. Very good win. He got a, a win over, uh, Porky Medina on his way up. He's got good wins. None of them are power for power wins. Um, how's he going to get on the power for pound list? I got an easy fix for that. I got an easy solution for that. Find another guy who's trying to get on that list. Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo's just off the top 10 list, right? Like he's probably in your top 15 pound for pound, but not in your top 10. Caleb Plant, not in the top 15, but he's got top 10 pound for pound skills. You want to get on the pound for pound list? Caleb Plant, fight Jamal Charlo. I've been next to both guys. I know that right now that technically they're in different weight classes. I've been next to both guys. Um, and I think Jamal Charlo is bigger. I have no idea how Jamal Charlo made 154 for all those years. That guy's huge. Right? I think he's bigger than Plant. Um, you know, they're built a little differently. Like a lot of Plant's weight is in his legs and stuff. Um, but Jamal Charlo is taller. Uh, he, Jamal Charlo is bigger, like in the shoulders. Um, so he, Jamal Charlo is not going to have a problem going up to 168. And I think that's kind of where he belongs. I think that's probably his best weight class. And, and Caleb Plant's not a, a power hitter, right? Like, Caleb Plant's not going to blast him out. So, th that fight's fine. And, and if Caleb Plant wins, he's got to win over Jamal Charlo, and I think that puts him in the pound for pound list. If Charlo wins, he's a three-weight division world champ. He's got to win over Caleb Plant. He's got to win, you know, he becomes a power for pound guy. So, I, I think that fight should get made. I think they should call up Al Make that fight. And the winner goes on the pound for pound list, really. And we'll have an all southern battle. Um, it'd be the biscuits and gravy fight. I love that fight. Um obviously I gotta go with my boy Jamal. Who do wins that fight? I don't know. You know, I'd probably lean towards my guy, but uh Jamal Charlo. But Caleb Plant is, is a master class boxer. He's got the skills to be in the top ten. Um it's all there. Like, he beat Caleb Truex with one hand. I thought the performance was good. I know if you listen to our podcast on uh, Mixed Combat Radio, my, my co-host had a different opinion. But I thought the performance was excellent. Let me know what you guys think. Um, is that a fight you want to see? With the winner of that fight, regardless of who it is, go into your pound-for-pound pound top 10. Because the winner would go on my pound-for-pound pound top 10. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. We're going to be back every day. Two days of show, Monday through Saturday, and we'll probably do one on Sunday. But give me your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share with a friend on uh, and share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is February 8th, technically, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We need to fix that. We need to change that. Um, get Ivan Calderon into the Hall of Fame, class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.